Um, we never let the birthday of a beautiful woman pass without taking note. Cheryl Ladd is 59 today. You remember her from Charlie's Angels and the television show Las Vegas. She's a mad keen golfer, too. And uh, so on this uh, first day of the Michigan Women's Open, which is, comes the day after Paula Kramer finally won the U.S. Women's Open with a four-shot victory uh, in Pennsylvania at Oakmont. She is now no longer the uh, best female player never to win a major. But anyway, back to Cheryl Egg because she's on the other end of our line this morning. Happy birthday. How are you? Hi, Michael. How are you? Good. We're at the Michigan Women's Open. You ought to be here competing in this tournament, I think. I know. I wish I was. That sounds I know fun. Was, I remember when you came to Grand Blank and played in the Buick Open Pro-Am, and the last time you and I talked, you were telling me how much you enjoyed your trip to Loch Lomond in Scotland. Oh, yeah, one of my favorite places. Well, listen, you were one of my favorites. I was 10 years old by my reckoning when I turned on the television and saw you replace Farrah Fawcett on Charlie's Angels. And even as a 10-year-old, I took one look at you and said, where have you been all my life? <laughs> You're so cute. Thank you. <laughs> That's oh, a compliment. You you bet it is. And now I see you on the on the Las Vegas show with James Conn, and I say, she doesn't look any different. How do you stay so energized and so beautiful and so healthy? Wow. Well, thanks for thanks for all those compliments. But um, you know what? The older you get, the more you have to work at it, I must say. Um, I exercise uh, a lot and eat well, and uh, I think my head's uh, on straight, and I'm just sort of living in a lot of gratefulness right now in my life, and... Um, you know, but as you get older, you know, we're baby boomers. Well, I'm a baby boomer. You're not quite there yet, but uh, um, things change a lot in your life, you know, and you have to really be the captain of your health ship when you're this age. You really have to have a great relationship with the doctor, and you really have to take care of yourself. I was finding that, um, Michael, I wasn't sleeping too well, and I kept waking up in the night, and I, I couldn't figure out what was going on, and so I was, instead of, uh, my usual complete denial of these things, like most of us do. Uh, we just ignore it. It'll go away. Um, it was starting to really bother me, so I finally went to my doctor and he said, oh, okay, um, you're going to go to the drugstore and you're going to go get some Prilosec OTC and do what it says for two weeks. They call me. I go, that's it? There's nothing really wrong with you? He said, hey, you got a little heartburn. Go fix it. <laughs> it was like <laughs> one of those wonderful light bulb moments. Yeah. You know, okay. I have a great doctor. I'm really glad I called, and I'm really glad I got this taken care of. Uh, it's it's a funny thing because uh, you know it was never a problem for me before, and then all of a sudden it is. It's it's you know one of those wonderful things about aging. You live in California. I do. What time do you wake up every day? I'm usually up about seven. Yeah, see, early risers. It it just sort of works out that way. You live in a beautiful place. Uh, you are a beautiful woman, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. All the best to Cheryl Ladd, who replaced Farrah Fawcett and became very popular, Charlie's Angels.